In this first Back to Basics video, I'm going to show you the first five major chords that every guitarist should learn. And they are a C major, an A major, a G major, E major, and D major. Uh, so these five are your five fundamental open chord shapes because they all involve an open string or two and so on. So, first one is a C major. Now the notes here are first fret on your second string with your first finger and then we skip out your G uh, as an open string and then we go middle finger on the second fret of your fourth string and then we do third finger ring finger on the third fret of your fifth string um, now it's quite important to get your fingers in exactly the right place for this chord because if you look each finger I get a bit closer there we go because uh, if you look each finger has the potential to rest on the string of the next note so this one can potentially kill this note this one can potentially kill the open string, and this one can potentially kill the top string. So you want to bring your hand around that little bit further and make sure all your fingers are bent. What we don't want to see is this, fingers being straight, because you'll just get dead notes all around for this one. I find it uh, beneficial to hug the neck a little bit. So if you try and get the palm, a bit like a handshake, imagine you're shaking someone's hand. If you get your palm um, quite flat, on the back of the neck and get your thumb up towards the top. That helps your fingers get into that sort of slightly slightly sideways position um, to reach those three notes. So that's your first chord and we don't play this bottom string. Ideally what you want to do is get your thumb just up, just touching that bottom string slightly to kill the note uh, and then get your other fingers on. Uh, if you can't get your thumb up just yet or you can't reach Keep working at it because that's another fundamental um, thing that you need to be able to do. Get your thumb killing those notes because it crops up in no end of other chords. So that's your C chord and when we pick your top five strings. So we go from your A string up to our top string and that's your C major. Okay, your next chord is an A major chord. Which is that one. A um, couple of options for this one, well, several options, but your two simple ones are to use three fingers like this. So your first finger, middle finger, and third finger. Or you can use middle finger, third finger, and little finger. So you can do that. Or you can do that. Um, I find trying to do both uh, is very beneficial because it depends what chord you're coming from as to what fingers you use for that chord. Um, but that's for a later date. So try first three, or these three. I'm gonna go with first three for now. So your A major chord is open top string, second string, we play the second fret, and then third string, second fret again, and fourth string, second fret again. And then we have an open A string as your root note, because it's an A chord. We go from your A string. And again, a lot like you see, try and get your thumb just touching that top note. Don't press on too hard, otherwise you'll play that second fret um, just to kill that note. Then get your fingers nice and curled around, out the way of all the other strings. And then we strum from your A string to get those notes again. If you get your thumb, you can actually hit all your strings. And we get that dead note. Uh, so that's your A, quite straightforward. Two, two, two. Three fingers in a row, again. All these fingers, start with your little finger. Third finger, middle finger. Okay, next chord is a G major. There are two ways of doing a G major. One of them is slightly easier, but the other one is more common. So I'm gonna show you uh, both ways, but uh, the second one I'm gonna show you is probably the best way of doing it uh, overall. So the first way, the slightly easier way, is to get either your third finger or your little finger on the third fret on your first string and then we skip 
open string, open string, open string, and then your first finger goes on your second fret of your A string, of your fifth string, and then your middle finger comes across and plays third fret on your bottom string. So all together we've got three, zero, 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 two, three. So that's a G major, that's your easier version of the G major because you've only got one note on top. Um, the better way of doing it, or the more common way of doing it, uh, I think it sounds a bit better as well, is instead of just getting one three on the top, if we put your little finger on there and get your third finger on the second string on that third fret. So instead of three, oh, 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 two, three, we've got three, three, and these two are still the same, two and three. So it's either that one, or that one. Like I said, in the long run, the two fingers on top is better because it helps change into other chords and things like that. But try them both occasionally. That one does crop up uh, in a very specific way in some songs. Uh, so that's your G. Next up, we have an E major. So for this one, we have open top string, open second string, then we play 1st fret on your 3rd string with your 1st finger. And then I use my 3rd finger on your 2nd fret, 4th string. And then middle finger is left to play 2nd fret on your 5th string. Uh, and then we have an open bottom string. Because it's an E chord, so we go from your E to E. Um, same deal with this one as the rest, try and get your fingers all the way around because they have potential, this one has potential to kill this note by leaning on it. So make sure you get it right around, so it opens up that note. And same with your top strings. Try and make sure your finger's out of the way. And also this bit of your hand. Um, so just between your thumb and your finger, if you hug the neck a bit too much for your E, uh, whether you can see it or not, this part of your finger can just come up and kill that top string. Uh, so want to make sure there's at least a small amount of gap. There we go, as you can see. Um, make sure there's at least a small amount of gap around there. So when we play the chord, you've got enough to get a finger through. Uh, and that's your E chord. We strum all the strings. And there we go. Your next chord, your last chord, is a D. A D major. Um, so D goes 2nd fret, top string, with your 2nd finger, middle finger, it's there. 3rd fret, 2nd string, with your 3rd finger. And then 2nd fret, 3rd string, with your index finger, 1st finger, just there. And because it's a D chord, we play from your D string to the top. Now with this one, we want to get your thumb up and Definitely, definitely try and kill that note. Uh, or just don't pick it, but when we're strumming, we need to kill the note. Um, so a D, if you get your open A string in there as well, uh, A doesn't really matter that much. Technically that's a D over A, but there's no real way, unless you get a little finger up, uh, to mute that note. So when we're strumming, we can do that A string as well. But when you're just picking or doing small strums, try and go from your D string. Uh, and there we go, they are your five first fundamental open chords. Uh, there is a reason they're in the order C, A, G, E, D as well. There's a thing called the caged method, um, which comes way later down the line, but I always show them people in that order, so you don't have to just rearrange them later. Um, so that's a good way to start. Uh, and then there are no end, but literally millions of songs around the world that just use some of those major chords. Take, uh, yeah, what's an example? Uh, Bad Moon Rising. Um, three chords, D, A, and G. Uh, I'll do another video on changing between the chords later on. And there you go. That's your five first major chords.